This is a story about clean water for the Everglades. Clean water in just the right amount, at just the right time, in just the right place. We are um, preserving the, the Everglades by uh, checking that the water, that it's, it's clean and uh, it meets the, the requirements that we are, uh, are asked to, to maintain. Where should the water go? Is there enough for our treasured ecosystems and the millions of people who depend on them? How clean is it? Monitoring the quality of our water in our environment helps answer these questions for South Florida Water Management Districts, scientists, and engineers. It identifies what's in our water, not from the tap, but in our lakes and rivers, our estuaries and bays, our wetlands and marshes. Monitoring helps us determine what projects are needed to restore the environment and demonstrates the success of our efforts or the need to improve them. And most important, this data drives the decisions that are restoring the Everglades and protecting South Florida's environment and water resources. Basically, this water that we are collecting is going to get put on each respective bottle, and those bottles are going to the lab. There, they're going to do uh, tests. Turbidity, total nitrogen, total uh, phosphorus, alkalinity, dissolved organic uh, carbon, metals. The agency's $15 million science facility in West Palm Beach houses 11,000 square feet of lab space. The laboratory alone is home to more than 100 staff members dedicated to water quality and science. One of the key components in the wetland, we believe, is the action of the microbial and algal communities. So scientists here are investigating a lot of the components within the wetland to try to understand what's happening within this STA, which is, you know, a very big freshwater wetland and what is happening to cause the phosphorus to come to such low concentrations at the outflow. All of the science gathered from strategic sites across South Florida brings us back to making sound decisions about our water. They are the guiding principles that provide the public with knowledge about their environment and the understanding needed by the governing board to make informed decisions. Water quality monitoring gets us there. With this knowledge, Florida's governor has asked the district to provide even more data. The objective of sending as much water south as possible uh, needs to be balanced against, balanced with the quality of the water that we're sending south. The governing board unanimously voted to expand South Florida's public network of water monitoring sites. The 80 new and expanded locations focus on our region's most sensitive areas. Once data begins flowing, scientists will have a better way to monitor conditions that could lead to algal blooms and build better models to predict future conditions. They will have a broader understanding of how different sources of nutrients, such as phosphorus, impact watersheds. Ultimately, the new monitoring sites will provide invaluable data to help water managers send clean water south to the Everglades, protect our estuaries, and safeguard South Florida's water resources. This is a great day because without all the monitoring, without, uh, there's no way we can plan into the future. And uh, so I think that this is extremely important to identify you, you know, what we will build in the future, what we've already built, and what we may require uh, from property owners as well. And the only way we can figure that out is to have the science and have the, the data that, uh, so this is a great thing for us to be able to plan. <laughs>